So you're thinking about moving to Borum Hill, Brooklyn, but you don't know too much about it yet. You're looking to get some more information. You're trying to do your research. And in this video, we're gonna tell you everything you need to know in terms of shops, restaurants, and don't forget real estate. We love real estate. So let's jump into the video and talk about Borum Hill, Brooklyn. Hey, if this is your first visit to the channel and you're looking to learn everything there is to know about living in New York City area, then subscribe below and tap the notification bell so you could be the first to hear about the current market here in New Jersey and New York. Hey, I'm Jeff Massey, your local real estate broker, and I get calls and emails every day from people just like you who are thinking about moving to one of New York City's amazing communities, and I love it. So whether you're moving in seven days or seven months, give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, or even schedule a video chat so we can help you make an easy, stress-free move to the New York City area whether it be from Manhattan or from abroad. So as you know, from the top of the video, we're here in Borum Hill, Brooklyn. Right now we're walking down Pacific Street. Pacific is kind of like the central axis, although I would say Atlantic is kind of the main thoroughfare in terms of shops and restaurants. It's a little bit busy of a street. Also on Atlantic is a really beautiful arts community, design community, I'd say, with like everything from antiques to fashion design, also, sort of really cool like modern stuff as well not just antiques but today's video again we're comparing the idea of moving to the suburbs or taking advantage of the subways so hashtag subs of NYC and you're trying to make that decision maybe you're moving to the area from far away maybe you're coming from Manhattan you're looking for more space two options obviously going to the suburbs or hopping on the subway going out to Brooklyn or Queens now I'm, we're showcasing Borum Hill today but I just thought I'd give you some geography really quick. Borum Hill is bordered on the north to Skirmerhorn Street and on the south to Baltic Street. And if you go east and west, you've got a little bit of Flatbush and 4th Avenue to the east, and then you've got Smith Street to the west. Now, if you look on Google Maps, actually, Smith Street, it actually extends over to Court, depending on if you're relying on Google Maps. So sort of Cobble Hill, and Borum Hill sort of or overlap a little bit in that sense. And that brings me to the idea of the BOCOCA, if you've heard of that acronym, B-O-C-O-C-A, so standing for Borum Hill, Cobble Hill, and Carroll Gardens. If you haven't seen our video on Cobble Hill, I'll link it down below so you can check that out. But as I said today, we're in Borum Hill. The other interesting thing, if you're looking at sort of geometry, or I should say geography, is in terms of neighborhoods, you've got sort of downtown Brooklyn to the north, uh, Fort Greene and Park Slope to the east, Gowanus to the south, and you've got Cobble Hill, as I mentioned, to the west. Um, really cool neighborhoods as well. I hope to feature those in the future. Yeah, so in terms of transit, depending on where you are in the neighborhood, because it does span a pretty big distance east to west, if you're living closer to the east side near Barclays Center, you've got the 2345, the BD, the N, the Q, and the R. If you're more in the middle, you've got Skirmer, the Hoyton Skirmerhorn stop, you've got the A, C, and the G train. And if you're over on the west by Smith Street and Bergen, you've got the F and the G. So between those three stations, you've got tons of transit options, and that's gonna get you into the city in about 20 minutes if you're going to like the Empire State Building Midtown area. So very fast commutes from this location. So I'm about to show you some B-roll, and I wanna say I'm giving away my stash, my stash of really good Brooklyn secrets. Now we're gonna do a little contest here, and I want you to put a trivia question down in the comments. I'm about to show you this entrance. It's 560 State Street. Now, that has a very big reference to some lyrics in a very popular song. So we've got some good pop culture for you here. If you get it correct, I'm gonna pin your comment See if you know what song I'm talking about. Name the song and the artist. Bonus points if you can do the whole lyric. As you know, if you're enjoying this content, please do comment below if you have any questions. 
and please like and share with your friends if you if you know anyone that this content might be helpful to so let's get back into the video don't forget to comment of course once you live here you need great restaurants and right behind me is one of my favorites this is rucola it's really good traditional italian food now if you're looking for some pizza you're going to want to hop over to atlantic check out soto casa below the house it's a really nice pizza place almost like a traditional neapolitan style pizza um, if you're looking for french food you've got a couple options also on atlantic you've got french louis and bacchus now in terms of coffee stops you got plenty of choices but check out cafe kitsune it's hard to say and then down as you go up towards smith street you've also got the blue bottle plenty of cool places to check out if you're looking for food in the area and nice places to have in your backyard Of course, shopping, you have a lot of different options. If you're looking for grocery shopping, you've got the Whole Foods over by Flatbush that's right near BAM. Now, BAM's another amazing thing to talk about, and that's a whole, Brooklyn Academy of Music, it stands for, that's a whole cultural center. Uh, it's really an institution here in Brooklyn, and they've got everything from live performances, they've got multiple, actual multiple venues. Um, you've also got the cinema there, and lots of cool stuff going on at BAM. But anyways, that's a side note. You've also got Trader Joe's in City Point, and you've also got Trader Joe's over in sort of Cobble Hill by Court Street in Atlantic. The other thing you have in terms of shopping is the decal market. You've got lots of food. Uh, that's more of a dining action, actually. You've got the food hall there, lots of cool little kiosks, and there's Target up there. There's also another Target down in uh, Barclays area on the border there by the Barclays Center. But lots of also boutiques, like I said, on Atlantic, you've got lots of cool uh, clothing boutiques down there and so on. I'll show some of that in the B-roll. Another cool spot on Atlantic Avenue is Zahadi's. That's more sort of technically in Brooklyn Heights, Cobble Hill, but it's so close that you can just pop on over there and get some really cool, interesting groceries in terms of like, they have amazing things like dried fruits and lots of cool stuff over there. So really you can't go wrong when it comes to shopping. And like I said, you're only 20 minutes from Manhattan and you've got all the world-class shopping there on Fifth Avenue and Madison and so on. So let's keep going. So I just popped over here to BAM because I wanted to show you a little bit of close-up footage, but it reminded me of a really cool store. We're just technically we're in Fort Greene now, but Borum Hill's just down the road. But this is a really interesting storefront. It's called the Center for Fiction, and it was designed by my former employer, BKSK Architects. So shout out to BKSK for designing this. Go to their website, check out the interiors. It's really beautiful the way they fitted that out. But also behind me, as I was talking about earlier, is BAM. Again, that's technically Fort Greene. But if you're in the area, these all these places kind of meld together depending on how close you are and what part of each neighborhood you live in. But we'll show some footage of BAM. And of course, behind me, you've got the Whole Foods and the Apple Store. Now let's talk about what you've probably been waiting for. And before I talk about it, don't forget to wait until the end because I'm gonna to talk to you about that really cool project, one of my favorite townhouse developments in the Brooklyn area, in the Borum Hill area, I should say. So let's talk real estate. And I've got my note cards here because there's a lot of dense information, so I don't wanna miss anything. But in the last 12 months from today, we've seen in Borum Hill, we've seen an average of $1,352 per square foot. Now that's across all property types, so that's very misleading, but I just want to give you all the overall number. Average again, again, all property types is very generalized, 83 days on market. But let's break into the by size. You're looking at an average for studios of around a million dollars. Uh, those worked out to be about 1,400 a square foot. 
Oddly enough, the data showed, and again, it just could be that sample that took place last year. The data showed 909,000 for one bedrooms, and that worked out to be about 1,288 per square foot. Two bedrooms were about 1.5 million, that worked out to 1,386 per square foot, and three bedrooms worked out to 2.36 million, and that's about 1,500 square foot. And lastly, larger homes, four and above, those ended up being 4.1 38 million that's average across all the transactions that happened last year now you can imagine these beautiful brick and brownstone row houses they would go for a pretty penny and that worked out to be about 1685 square feet so very expensive but now let's look at it by ownership type okay so by ownership type the story is a little bit different and obviously in any case we'd have to run comps on a specific property because each place is going to be different you want to compare it to similar Type properties but just to give you the broad strokes if we're looking at by co-op the average co-op sold in this area was 990,000 that worked out to just about 1055 per square foot condos were 1.7 million that worked out to 1421 per square foot and townhouses on average were about 2.39 million which worked out to about 1444 per square foot but as you can see from these beautiful typologies it's a nice place to live with these beautiful tree-lined streets. I wish you could see it in the spring when these start to bloom. You've got a different mix of trees, a lot of them elm trees. You can see with these spotted sort of like, looks like camouflage bark. We're on Dean Street right now between Bond and Nevins. And so this particular block has a lot of brick, but you will see brownstone on some of the others once in a while. But you can see, I know those are really expensive prices, but depending on what your budget is, they could meet your needs and just beautiful can't wait until the spring when things start to warm up and the, the buds start opening, but just a nice place to live. So as I promised, I got a special bonus piece for you here. This is one of my favorite projects in Borum Hill and Brooklyn almost overall, but you'll notice right behind me, we're just off of 11 Hoyt Street. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it down below. You should definitely go check that one out. That's a really cool suburbs versus subway episode. But right behind me is the Bond Street townhouses. It starts at number 73 and I think it goes up to like 77 or something like that. But these are really beautifully designed townhouses by Ben Hansen Architects. And they were sold, I think, in about 2017. You'll notice the beautiful details with the Peterson brick. That's a Danish handmade brick. Really cool material. They're extra long and skinny. I'll show you some of that in some close-up footage. But in general, just amazing mixing of the gray materials, the metal and the, the brick and the wood doors. Really cool project around back because it was built all at once they have access for parking and so on really neat last year one of them actually sold just about a year ago for 5.75 million very very nice projects these were four bedroom three bath around 4100 square feet really really special stuff here in brooklyn and especially borum hill There's actually another cool Ben Hansen architect project right behind me here, this gray metal facade. But anyways, that's gonna do it for us here in Borum Hill. I hope you found that content helpful. If you have any questions, get in touch with us. Our info is down in the description. And if you're interested and you're liking this content, suburbs versus subways, get in touch with us or leave a comment so we can get a feel for whether or not this is interesting to you guys. I think it is. Definitely, if you're considering moving from Manhattan or potentially relocating from other where somewhere else and you're just trying to find more space. Once again, I'm Jeff Massey and thank you for letting me into your home and I hope that together we can help you find your next one. In the meantime, we'll see you in the next video.